So we're getting a demo of the new 3.0 ATC, uh, ATSC, excuse me, uh, standard with the emergency alert system. So you were just telling me that with this box over here, basically this represents a emergency alert um, local um, county, county, state, county state. So they can enter an alert there and then a, and geograph it to wherever they want it to go. So rather it be a city or a, a county or... And put in whatever content that may be, may be sending Perfect. on the alert. Uh, at the station, which is being represented right now by right this box, by, by these, this entire rack, yep. uh, the station will intercept that alert. Uh, they will, they may use it as a news story. They may use, and or they may use it as an advanced emergency uh, notification message, which we're showing here. They may append their own multimedia content. So, for right. example, in an Amber Alert or an Officer Down, the station, particularly a news station, may be have video, on-site video. They'll insert that. So all of a sudden, your emergency alert becomes much more of an informative product. Okay. Now, with this, you were talking about multiple languages. So if I speak primarily Spanish, I could get that alert to display in Spanish as opposed to current where it's just in English in most areas. Correct. Uh, one of the features here would be to display the, the message in multiple languages and for receiver applications that have multilingual support, allow the user to set their default preferences. Okay. You were talking about this icon, this little uh, yellow triangle down in the bottom earlier. Can you explain that? Uh, one of the features of ATSC 3 the emergency notification specification, is to allow sets to provide a relatively inobtrusive manner of letting the viewer know there is an urgent notification available to them. Uh, this icon is one example of how, uh, how the consumer can be simply notified that there is a similar message. Uh, depending on the priority of the message, uh, receiver applications may present more information up front. If it's truly life-threatening like an evacuation, you may get that text and audio right out to you as opposed to a, a less so let's say it's just a watch uh, for a thunderstorm uh, possibility. Uh, I click on that and it brings up a bar across the bottom. Will it be like a button on my remote? Will there be a menu setting? Uh, it would be, depends how the, 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 the electronic consumer, electronics manufacturers uh, offers their application. Okay. Uh, and there may be broadcaster applications as well, random broadcaster applications that have their own look and feel to how these alerts are displayed, what kind of information is, is accessed. So, um, Actually, let me try. Sure. Is it going? Is the PCAT going through? Uh, the message. Um, for that. As far as we know. Um, we'll click on it. One thing to. I just want to point out, everybody watching it. There we go. There's what they look like. But this is just a demo of what it will possibly look at, right? This isn't necessarily the final this product. Is not the, this is not the final product. This is a conceptualization of how a, a super electronics receiver would display the alert. Uh, the, you can see there are multiple alerts being issued out at the same time. As we work through them, let's pick the latest one, a blue alert. I've sent two. You see it. I sent one earlier today. Um, one out just now. Okay. Pick the latest one, which I believe is number two. And here you see the English version of the text that, uh, that was sent. Uh, the text. Um, and we can go and see the alert content, which provides. So right now you got Spanish, English, and Korean. Morning. Hell, that's fine. Hey, how does it, how does now, do it? now, one question about this: I, at, at CES, when we got the demo, they talked a lot about the idea that it could, in theory, if you set it up, turn on your TV like a weather radio type system. Is that all? How far along is that? What's that looking like right now? Um, we can transmit a wake-up bit. Okay. Uh, within the ATC radio screen. The consumer and electronic industry is still organizing around that capability. Um, we'll probably see that out in, in the next, within the next year. At CS, Pearl TV talked a lot about how that was an opt-in. Is that still being talked as a opt-in or at least the ability to opt that out in the future if you didn't want your TVs being able to be turned on? Again, that's part of the consumer electronic experience. Still, it should be the next, the next step of discussion. Still being developed. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, this is great. Anything else you want to point out real quick?
New technology. Looks like it's an air mode. I saw an air mouse pop up on the side there. All right, here we go. There you go. So we can go over, and one new thing we're showing is three language support: English, Spanish, the wanted poster. Well, that's nice. Now, is this pulling from over the air, or is this teaming up with broadband to... This is all over the air. All over the air, so there's no internet required no to do this. Required, which is a, one of the tremendous benefits of the system. You're sending yeah. rich media when, during an emergency, the internet's probably going to be out. Yeah. And they say during a blue alert, let me go back here. Um, but during, you know, during, uh, hurricane severe, season, severe tornadoes, storm. yeah. Now, I've just accessed the video from... It's actually a video from Ohio on okay. how they use their Blue Alert program. Uh, so, again, over the air, sending targeted video, targeting alerts, targeted content uh, to the, the consumer. And again, he raised a really good uh, analogy for that example. When severe storm watches, fog warning, that type of thing, are broadcast, most TV broadcasters don't send that type of alert information. Yeah. But with this capability, you're providing the user with that information in the background. They can get a, an unobtrusive notification. If they want to get it, they can. But it's not coming in the middle of their football game. Yeah, I, I love it because I know a lot of my readers were concerned about the idea that they had to connect their TV to the Internet or, um, and to get this kind of level of interactivity. Right. But this is all 100% over the air. Over the air. You can use a, uh, a broadband backhaul, okay. but what we're showing it is end-to-end -end over RF within a smartphone. Now, the other thing to bear in mind, we're showing alerts. This is more than an alerting technology. This is an emergency info or emergent information format. So, school closing is. Yep. We all know and love that crawl that goes on for hours on the bottom of your screen during severe weather. Well, imagine where we can transmit those lists of school closing in an interactive guide sent exactly in this format that the consumer, those with kids, can click through to see if schools are closed or if the government facilities are closed. Those who don't care or it's self-debit and it's snowing, you don't have to, you don't have to bother Perfect. to on your screen. There's, 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 a, there's a highly versatile messaging format for any form of urgent information that the broadcaster or the public safety officials want to get to audiences in the area. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely.